folks, welcome back to Wild Jigger Out TV and our two-part series on hunting the chamois. My name is Ricky Mills, a retired Special Forces officer and the host of Wild Jigger Outdoor TV. As a Green Beret, my job was to infiltrate into foreign countries by land, sea, or air. As a global hunter, I'm inviting you to follow me and my team of international hunters as we travel the globe on a quest to hunt every country and every huntable game species. This is Wild Jaeger. Last week we talked about hunting with rifle. Frank, thanks for joining us again. And we're talking about bow hunting chamois, and we're bow hunting chamois in the country of France. Have you ever hunted in France? You ever thought about hunting in France? No, I've driven through France, and I've had the, the privilege to, to go to uh, Normandy um, and, and go to the American cemeteries there, which is, you know, just an amazing, humbling life experience itself. As you know, those of us who are veterans and have served, um, but I would give anything to go back. I mean, folks, just look at the pictures of where he hunted and the actual hunt you did. But that region is just amazing uh, terrain and scenery and flora. Um, I, I mean, just just absolutely beautiful. So it is on my bucket list to go there uh, one day. So how this hunt started off is Laurent Bosson. We needed a uh, pro staff or an influencer for Wild Jagger uh, marketing in France and we linked into Laurent and it had been a dream of mine to bow hunt chamois. I've got that successful rifle hunt. I've been successful. I'm taking other people hunting. I'm taking my success. People are looking at that and they're going, if, in, in my world, if I can do it, then I can take somebody mm -hmm. else and I can help them be successful also. That was you, boom, you're in. We got a rifle hunt with you and John and then several other hunting customers over a couple of years. But that itch was there to chase the chamois with a bow. Laurent Bosson got on the team from France and within six months, I had an invite to join him at his house, slept in his house, ate his food. Timothy Bosson, his son, uh, him and I were going back and forth. Timothy Bosson is actually our Wild Jigger Pro Staff France with his father. And Timothy, believe it or not, a lot of the videos you're watching were edited by this 19 year old kid, Timothy Bosson. <laughs> Wild Jagger Video Productions. Thank you, Timothy. And, uh, and it, it's an amazing thing that we can take the edited videos, we bring them in here, we come downstairs, we get behind this table and we introduce videos, but we got this 19 year old kid from France that I was actually able to meet and hunt with. And it was an amazing experience. So video one, we're gonna watch today on bow hunting France. We're gonna join Timothy Bosson and Laurent Bosson and then their friend Gabriel. Uh, on a little hunt that they sent me last year with them out bow hunting chamois. So take a look at this video with Laurent Bosson and Gabriel in the mountains, the same mountains that I was successful in, but this is more of a hunt they did last year. Check it out, folks. sur la commune d'Alondaz. Euh, on est parti euh, à l'ouverture ce matin pour une chasse au chamois à l'arc avec Gabi qui est ici, qui est en train de se changer, en train de mettre sa tenue de, sa tenue de combat. On est avec mon père aussi Laurent qui est pas là, qui est parti euh, de l'autre côté.
Ricky, I've watched the video of your hunt and, um, and it's beautiful scenery and all that. But I know you talk about in that video the need to get on a Stairmaster. Um, and it's very evident uh, from the video. And then I watched you go across and, and you really had to make a kind of a flanking and kind of a broad movement to get into that position. And it had to be an awkward look. I mean, just to look at it, it had to be an awkward uh, position to get set, it up, set up in uh, to make that successful shot. You tell us about that. Folks, I'm a big character guy. So what is character? Character is the measure of a person, okay? Character is not what you do when everything's going right. Character is what you do when things start going wrong. Do you sit down and start crying? Or do you pick yourself up and you keep moving forward toward that objective, whatever it is? And this was a rough hunt. I am not mm -hmm. going to kidding you. I had major issues with plantar fasciitis. Uh, I have heel spurs. Uh, I was in total and utter pain every single day. And then we talk about gear. I had some old Reikley boots that I was issued uh, when I was in 10th group, first lieutenant, 10th special forces group, right there, Panzer Concern. I got issued those Reikleys. Well, I don't know if you've ever had a pair of boots where the rubber and the insole, after it sits in the closet for three, four, five years, mm -hmm. the boot, you pull it out and you, you wore them five, 10 years ago and you think they're gonna work. Well, what happened was that inner material started to decay. It pulverized or literally turned into powder on the side of the mountain at like 12 to 13,000 feet after it actually happened while I was moving I made it all the way up to the place where I shot I'm right there woo, on the side of the mountain and I'm trying to traverse on an angle like this I don't you can't really see it in the video how steep that angle was but I was afraid I was going to fall off that mountain and I get about halfway from where I shot that chamois to over where the chamois was and my the, the bottom portion if you can picture if this is the the sole of the shoe and then here's the boot on top that what's holding it together had deteriorated and now instead of having stable footing it's i'm it's sliding like this i don't have a sole so we talked about the previous episode about checking your gear and getting prepared and getting on the stairmaster which i know you're fit and all that um but you got to make sure that gear is right. And again, I learned a lesson with my boots from my hunt. So you, folks, you might want to take heed from what we're telling you now. Uh, you got to hike in those boots. So you make sure you get the right boots for the right terrain um, and make sure they're ready to go. Because yeah. they it, weaknesses will get exposed to going back to character and, and kind of circling around with all this. I mean, weaknesses will get exposed up there. Um, and, and what you don't want is to get to the point where it's, you know, a bad, bad situation. Yeah. So character, fitness, and then, right, have a plan, but be flexible enough and then make sure that you're at least, you've got the gear, you're packing properly. Information, key, Wild Jagger, we're bringing it to you on what to take, what to put in your backpack. That's where it's at. So the next thing you're going to see is me traveling to France, linking up with Lenoir Bosson and Timothy Bosson, Gabriel, and going bow hunting in France, folks. Hope you enjoy this video. All right, folks, in France, made it through the border, so got another hour to go until we're in the Alps with Laurent. My God, I found you, Ricky. <laughs> Look at this, folks. Only wood. <laughs> Man. Six o'clock or something. Six o'clock? Yes, we are only the two, only four. Yeah. Boom. Here, here, here. Good news. All right, folks, that's where we're hunting. <laughs> that's where we're going. We're going up the mountain tomorrow after those gums. Chamois. Chamois is the best. <laughs> I'm excited. Woo. Look at this, my friend. <laughs> Look at this knife. 
iz moje oča. Ulala, my god. On the way up the mountain, folks, with Laurent and Gabriel. <laughs> That's my French. Oui, oui. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. Hello. <laughs> Now, so the name of this, this mountain is called La Selim. He just recognized me from YouTube. Yes. That's crazy. I'm in France on the side of a mountain and he says, I recognize you. <laughs> You know, it's not going to be there forever. the bush I could I had no shot yeah yes I didn't have a shot you know and then <laughs> I saw him go like this and I saw when he smelled us and then he immediately turned yeah and started going that way and I was like oh <laughs> and, I started, and I started going and I lazed him one time at 60 and I'm like 
and then he just kept going and going and going. Oh, God. That's one thing you should, you should know now, folks. You launch an arrow here, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so your 13 to $20 arrows per, when you pull that trigger, arrow's gone. <laughs> oh, dude, awesome. Absolutely awesome. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tournais le dos, comme si je te tournais le dos à toi. Et Ricky, il était là. Et d'un coup, Laurent, oh, Laurent, don't move. There's a chami just behind you. Il était là. Il est monté dans le couloir, là. En fait. Et comment on était assis tous les deux On a entendu les pierres en dessous. Et lui, il est monté là. Et il est sorti là. Dans vous avez dû le voir là. Ouais, mais on était tourné par là. On regardait. Euh, T'étais en train d'approcher là. Là, t'as vu, ça passe tout le temps. Radical. We start to go down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Day two, morning. We're getting ready to head out. I just got done shooting my bow. I tell you what, part of hunting up here in the mountains, everything is rock. Every time you trip, fall, you got to protect your bow. But then you have to understand you need to be shooting your bow whenever you can in between hunts because one little thing being knocked off, you fall down, something happens, who knows, your bow sight gets hung up on a vine or a branch. So it's about 7, 7.15, day two. We're here with Laurent, great host. Morning, everybody. <laughs> and we're getting ready to head back up the mountain. You saw what we were walking yesterday, folks. I was smoked. So you definitely need to be in shape for this hunt. This is probably the most challenging hunt I've ever done in my life. So, I mean, to be in the mountains in France, in the Alps, as high as you can get with a bow, with a rifle, you know, you get to a certain point, you can see the chamois 200, 300 meters away, you hold the trigger, it's over. You got all day to get there and all day to get back. Yeah. But with a bow, you've got to get there. <laughs> you got to get there before you can pull the trigger. You need to be where you're looking at the deer or at the chamois. And that's where we're going today, Laurent. Yeah, it's true. Sure. You ready? <laughs> Here we go. We are ready. <laughs> Back up the mountain. Nice. Ready, Ricky? Ready. Let's go, my friend. Again, guys. Nearly 40 minutes after, Ricky is still stalking. He's, I think, 300 meters more down than the chamois. I tried to show you, Ricky is there. And the chamois. Hey guys, it was a fantastic moment, incredible, awesome, Ricky's just shot and I'm 
a poor guy because I couldn't take the video. It's going quickly. In one minute, Ricky short, Ricky have a good female. Wow, let's see Ricky. Folks, Rick Mills here. I just put an arrow in a goms or a chamois and I just watched her roll down the hill. I can't believe that just happened. Let's go find it. So, she's up here and she goes boom, 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 boom. Like this. Boom, 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 boom. And she should be somewhere in here. Can you see her? Down in the draw. Look down in the draw. Can you see her? We did it, folks. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> French Alps! <laughs> Found her! Gobs down! Chamois down! In France! Yes! Woo! You know what killed that chamois? You know what killed that chamois? I know you kill it. No, 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 no. <laughs> you know what killed it? Patience. Yes. Exactly. Moving very slowly. They knew something was going on. They knew that there was something going on, you know? They were on guard. They knew. 50 meters. 50 meters? 50 meter shot, Lara. Good, good. <laughs> They were at 45. I can't believe you didn't. <laughs> I'll get here and I'll tell you the story. So I had my hat on. I had my hat on, I had my sniper strike hat on, I had my sniper strike shirt on. And I come up over the, over the edge like this. And I look and I'm like, they're right there. They're right there. 45 meters. So I come back, I laze it with my Bushnell laser rangefinder, and I come back down, take my backpack off, and then the hardest part was getting my foothold to make sure when I stood up I had a solid shooting position. Yeah. I thought, do I shoot sitting down? Do I shoot kneeling? Do I? And I'm like, Rick, you've got one chance at this. Come up, draw in a standing position. And I, I swear, I Laura, I stood up and I drew my bow. And they were at 45, three of them, three of them, broadside. And I just said to myself, Rick, do not just shoot at the group. Don't just shoot at the group. Pick a target, pick a target, get your pin, sight picture, sight alignment, come on. And I'm, I'm like, woo, woo, <laughs> rocking in the bow. That's thousands and thousands of arrows, thousands of arrows, thousands of arrows to get the sequence where it's just muscle memory. Boom, I'm on him and she goes And she just turns and starts taking off. And I'm like, I was gonna use my 40 meter pin and hold a little high. So now she's running. I transition to my 50 meter pin, try to get it centered inside my thing. Transition with her, she stops for like a fraction of a second. Boom. And I can hear the arrow. Oh my God. I can see the arrow and I can hear the arrow. Whew. 50 meter shot, do you know how long it takes for the arrow to hit the target at 50 meters? Whew. And I hear that. Shock. Whack. And I'm like, I'm like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> and then I see her running and the arrow's in her. So the arrow went in, she's forward. The arrow went in here because she's, she's like this. Yeah. So the arrow went in her back, through her chest, and she didn't last 10 seconds. She was dead within 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's go. <laughs> Congratulations, Mikey. Oh, oh my God. I'm so happy. 
trying to do my best, France. Yes. <laughs> Be a good hunter. Look at this. Very nice female. There she is. My bow hunting chamois in France. I'm getting ready to put the tag on this baby. There it is. You just cross here. This way, Ricky. Oh, It'll yeah? be more easy. Yes. Okay, okay. With the chamois, okay? Okay. So if you look, folks, we would leave the hut, come up through the woods, traverse along the base of this, like this, cross around the ridge line, and then go into that valley, all the way to the back. And I shot my chamois up in here. That's what you hear all day long. <laughs> hey folks, this is Ricky Chamois Meat. We're gonna taste this tonight. All right folks, that closes out our two-part series on hunting the chamois in Europe. We covered rifle hunting and we covered bow hunting. And Frank, I need to thank you for joining us. My it was, pleasure. It, to have to be able to have the studio and bring people down, talk about the shared experiences of going through this together, the growing pains or the growing experience of hunting, whether it's in North America or Europe, folks, Wild Jagger is connecting the global hunting community. And at Wild Jagger, we're about sharing experiences and opening opportunities because wild game differ in other countries, but the call of the wild is still the same. Folks, we hope you enjoyed this two-part series on bow hunting and rifle hunting chamois, and we'll see you next week.